Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this one we're going to be looking at uh, uh, puppet wigs. As uh, some people have asked how I sew all of that together after having uh, woven the, the weft. So let's look at that. Now when you've finished weaving your weft, make sure you've got a little bit spare of your fibre for doing the wig touch-ups. Now I'm going to take a wooden ball that I have here, the polystyrene or something similar will work I think, as long as you can pin it on there. I'm going to lay my weft on there and with a thumbtack just secure it at one end and this is going to give me the part by flipping it around going back on top of that and pinning it with another thumbtack and then I'm going to go with needle and thread uh, secure that down and the extra fiber that we saved we're going to use that to fill that later on once we're done now you can use any stitch kind that you like but I'm going to come up through here then I'm going to wrap the thread around so that it's going to go along the uh, the, the joint like that. Now the width of this weft in the nine threads or seven or whatever it is, I can now go like this back up to the front where my uh, fringe is probably going to be, then come back uh, down exactly there and complete the U going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until the weft runs out. So there I have it, a reasonably straight fringe with a curve right round and it pulls down. And up the other way will probably, uh, you can either divide your fringe here just on the puppet or uh, trim it. And now we've got this piece down the centre line to fill in. Now to fill this uh, strip down here we can either use a big darning needle, but if you haven't got that it's just as effective to uh, take a normal needle with it threaded using the head of it, looping it and passing that head through a little bit and then take making the thread loop somewhat like that, feed the fibre through it and then pull the needle back out again pulling the thread through uh, and then tie a couple of knots just to make sure it's not going to come out then with your scissors snip that off and continue like that filling in the space so there we have a very full headed wig now considering this is sort of frizzy type of uh, curly hair it gives it more bulk if it was straighter and longer you would get a quite a nice decent looking wig also so there we have it quite a decent wig